Hey guys, it's Haley. Welcome back to my channel and happy 4th of July. Today we are going to be making strawberry and blueberry star-shaped scones. I'm really excited to make these, so let's get started. So first, I have half a cup of heavy whipping cream and I'm going to add it to a small bowl. And then I'm also going to add in two egg yolks and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Oops, a little bit extra, but that's okay. We always do a little bit extra. Oops, oh my gosh. I just dropped the lid to my vanilla extract in the bowl with the egg and the... Okay, I'm gonna have to rinse this. And I'm just going to whisk all of those ingredients together. You can use a whisk if you want, but a fork works fine too. And once that's all mixed together, I'm gonna set it aside. And I have my stand mixer, so whisking tin. And in this bowl, I have three cups of flour and I'm going to add in half a cup of granulated sugar, half a teaspoon of salt, and one tablespoon of baking powder. So I stuck my butter in the freezer because it has to be chilled and I had it sitting out on the counter so I wanted it to get cold very fast. But this is two sticks or one cup of unsalted butter and I've cut it up into little cubes like this. Little baby cubes. This is gonna help it incorporate easier. I'm just gonna put all of it in there all at once. And now on a low speed, I'm gonna mix all of that together until it's nice and crumbly and it resembles coarse meal. So this is what it should look like. The butter has mixed in and now the butter is in very tiny pieces, but it's very crumbly. So now that I've mixed all of that together, I'm going to slowly add my cream mixture. So I'm just gonna turn the mixer on low and stream it in. And now I'm just gonna keep mixing this until a sticky dough forms. It's weird mixing it with your hands. So now I have a countertop. I am going to lightly flour my countertop. Just spread the flour all around. Not super lightly, but just kind of lightly. I'm going to take my scone dough and just put it on the countertop. And now I'm just gonna press the dough out into a circle that's about one inch thick. I am going to take my star cookie cutter and dip it in flour. That's very important. You don't want it to stick to the cookie cutter. And then I'm just gonna cut out my stars. And there's the first one, look at it, it's so cute. I am going to put this onto my parchment lined baking sheet and I'm gonna keep cutting out my other stars. So I cut out all the stars that I could and now I'm going to flour my work surface again before I press out the dough. All right, so I finished cutting out. Oh, I always have to be careful with this pan because there are no edges. So I'm always worried things are gonna fall off. I finished cutting out the first batch of stars. It, it made 12, but I have a lot left. So I'm not sure how many it's gonna make yet, but I will definitely let you know. And now there's one last step, or I guess two steps before we bake these. I have a bowl of heavy cream and a paint, not a paint brush, do not use a paint brush, it's pastry brush. I have a pastry brush and I'm going to brush the scones with heavy cream. And then I'm just gonna take some granulated sugar and sprinkle just a little bit on top of each one. Okay, I probably did way too much, but hopefully not. And now I'm ready to bake them. My oven is preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm gonna bake these for 24 to 26 minutes or until the points of the stars are golden brown. All right, I'm done baking my scones. They're cooling off right now. 
But don't they look so cute? I'm really excited for these. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is make the glaze on top. It would not be finished without the glaze. It is essential. I have two cups of powdered sugar and three tablespoons of hot water. And I'm just going to pour the hot water uh, into the powdered sugar bowl. And we're going to mix them together to create a glaze. Oh my gosh, I think I'm actually going to need a teensy bit more water because it's being difficult right now. It's very hard to stir. I added about two tablespoons of extra water and now it's a lot smoother. So you might only need to add three tablespoons, but I needed to add extra, but I would just start with three. So now I've got my scones and I am just going to drizzle the glaze on top of them. You can put this in a piping bag if you want, but I'm just going to use the spoon to lightly drizzle the scones just back and forth. All right, so I finished drizzling all of my scones with glaze, and now you're just gonna wanna wait a few minutes for the glaze to harden before you serve them. And voila, the star scones are all done. I am so happy with how these turned out. They just look so elegant. And now it's time for the best part. I'm gonna try one. Mmm. These scones taste so perfect. They're so soft and like kind of crumbly, like pie crust, and they're really buttery too. It kind of reminds me of Pop-Tarts and I really like it. <laughs> well, thank you so much for baking with me today. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and click the subscribe button and comment down below and let me know what dessert you're making for 4th of July. And I'll see you in the next video. Hey, oh, that kind of hurt. <laughs> oh my, oh. I'm kind of feeling sick though. They're so sweet, but they're so good.